Tracy is going to choose a main course and a dessert in a cafe. She can choose from eight main courses and seven desserts. Tracy says that to work out the number of different ways of choosing a main course and a dessert, you add eight and seven. Is Tracy correct? You must give a reason for your answer. So if we think about this question, if there are eight main courses and seven desserts, then if we choose the first main course on the menu, we will still be able to choose between seven desserts. And again, if we take the second main course from the menu, we'll still have seven ways of choosing the dessert, and so on. So is Tracy correct? No, Tracy is not correct, because she should multiply eight and seven rather than add them. Twelve teams play in a competition. Each team plays each other team exactly once. Work out the total number of games played. So if there are twelve teams playing in this competition, and each team plays each other team exactly once, then this means that each team will play eleven games in total. Now the reason it's not twelve is because the teams won't be playing themselves. So what we want to do next is 12 multiplied by 11, which gives us an answer of 132. Now this may look like the correct answer, but there's one more step we need to do. Now if we think about it, because there are two teams in each game, we have effectively double counted each of these games. So in order to work out the total number of games played, we want to divide our answer by 2. And this gives us an answer of 66. Now this question's worth two marks. We'll get our first mark for starting a method to work out the total number of games played, and our second mark for the correct answer.